Hey guys, here's the GTA guy coming in again with another video. So today we're going to be talking about one of the biggest cases of around and find out. I mean, this situation is really concerning, but I'ma be honest with you, I kinda giggled a little bit. Once I tell you what happened and why, you will inevitably take your palm to your face. So long story short, there is this YouTuber that got kidnapped and the captors are asking for $600,000 for the ransom. So this news were all over X yesterday and probably also on YouTube by now. This guy that goes by the name of your fellow Arab got captured by some gang while making content in the country of Haiti. So Alison Mal Aloof, I think that's how you say his name, better known as your fellow Arab, started his career on YouTube uploading gameplays of Fortnite, but would later turn into a completely different direction. He started making IRL content, streaming challenges, reacting to shit, and that kind of stuff. But at some point, he had the brilliant idea of going beyond the regular IRL streaming scene, and he went on to do some pseudo journalism. He decided that it was a good idea to get himself involved with the worst kind of human scam there is, and he went to interview people from gangs how many people have you killed <laughs> cartels when's the last time you killed someone guerrillas like a militia yeah. and so on and just as i said in other videos these people doing this kind of stuff are so delusional just like the people that do political streams and such they believe so much into their own lie like they have a completely altered perception of reality where they think that they are capacitated to do this kind of thing not knowing that people that actually do these jobs are properly trained and have a bunch of experience therefore they know what they're doing and they're able to see when the situation is going to get fucked up so that they can avoid getting to this point. Anyway, so this guy was in Haiti and he was on his way to an interview with this guy called Jimmy Cherisier, aka Barbecue, who is a spokesperson for a local gang alliance by the name of Bib and Sam. So they got intercepted by a rival gang who goes by the name of 400 Mausol. I think that's how they said these names. I don't know. I mean, I don't speak Haitian or French or whatever they speak there. But anyway, and they have been captured since around two weeks. And just to give some context, on the people that Arab was interviewing. Let's watch a few clips about them. Gang leader Jimmy Charissier, also known as Barbecue, said on Tuesday that the country would plunge into a civil war that will end in genocide if Henri remains in power. It's been three days since a Haitian gang kidnapped 17 mostly American missionary workers, including five children outside Port-au-Prince. In the absence of a functioning government, and with a limited police force, rival gangs have increasingly seized control of most of the capital, Port-au-Prince, and more than half of the country. So these people mean serious business. This dude really thought that he could keep doing this type of content without facing the consequences and well, it backfired big time. And for one side, I do admire that he had the balls to go interview people like that because it really takes some courage to do so. Either that or he is just extremely stupid, which can also be a possibility since we are talking about the streamer slash YouTuber, which we all know by now, we are not the rightest people on the planet. Anyway, so the kidnappers are asking for $600,000 ransom to get this dude back home safe and allegedly 4,000 were already paid. A friend of Arab that goes by the name of Lalim addressed the rumors that were going around about something happening to him because he went radio silent for various days and this is what Lalim said tried keeping it private for two weeks but it's getting out everywhere now yes arab has been kidnapped in haiti and we are working on getting him out love you all he'll be out soon after that he posted the last footage we have from arab before getting kidnapped by these horrible people so we actually cannot leave to port-au-prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m and if we leave right now we'll get there while it's dark it's about a six hour road trip We'll get there while it's dark, and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't want to be dealing with the gangs, even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're going to be leaving at 3 in the morning. I just really wanted to show you guys the view from this hotel. We are the only people in this entire hotel. Everybody else is workers, employees, etc because no one's allowed into the fucking country. So there's no tourists here, okay, other than those Royal Caribbean guys. But I have the entire hotel to myself. Look at that view, man. You got the mountain range, you got the sun setting, okay, you have entire Cap Haitian over here. And we've got a pool, which I wasn't gonna take advantage of, but 
How many times in your life are you the only person in an entire hotel because the country's completely shut down, no one should be coming in, and you're just a retarded YouTuber? I feel like we gotta take advantage of the pool. And it's kinda creepy how he basically foreshadowed what was going to happen to him. But then again, with the type of content he was making, I assume he was used to living with this idea of something happening to him at some point. At least he was self-aware enough to admit that what he was doing was re- And you're just a retarded YouTuber. And this is again another example of the brain rot that cloud chasing can cause. I mean, yeah, sure, his content is kind of informative and stuff, but going in like to those kind of places with no proper protection, no proper organization and without escape plan i don't know it's kind of stupid if you ask me anyway we will see what happens in the next few days and even though i think this guy is an idiot for putting himself in danger just for cloud i do hope that he can return home safe because let's be honest no one would want to be in that situation so yeah this is yet another example of fuck around and find out and guys don't ever do anything stupid like that because i need you all allowed to keep watching my videos so yeah subscribe to my channel if you want to get a new motorbike when i get to the millions subs and leave a like and a comment sharing your thoughts on this crazy ass situation. I am the GTA guy, take care and I'm out.